How do you keep your hot tub not just clean, but sanitary? The key is knowing the right way to use these six types of hot tub sanitizers. Before we dive into different types of sanitizers, you won't know how much sanitizer you need unless you test the water first. So the first step is water testing. For supplies, you'll need some test strips. They're pretty easy to use and they'll give you fast results. If you're having trouble getting the right balance and you need more precise results, you can also use a liquid test kit. You can also take a water sample to your local hot tub dealer and have them test it for you. You'll wanna test the hot tub water at least once a week and you'll want to test more often if you're actually using your hot tub on a regular basis or if there's a lot of people in it. Now that you know what your water chemistry looks like, let's talk about hot tub sanitizers. Sanitizer is the primary chemical that's going to keep your water, well, sanitized. Dirty hot tub water can lead to everything from minor skin irritations to severe rashes in the form of hot tub folliculitis or hot tub rash. It can also cause conditions like Legionnaire's disease and a respiratory disease commonly known as hot tub lung. So keeping your hot tub clean, make sure that you and everyone who uses your hot tub stays healthy. Okay, so what are the different sanitizers? Well, there are six types and the first is chlorine, which is the most common sanitizer for a few reasons. It's cost effective, it's easy to manage, and it's an aggressive bacteria killer. The same way you might use bleach to kill bacteria, fungus, and viruses in your bathroom, chlorine does all of that for you in your hot tub water. Now, one drawback to chlorine is the strong smell, but it's actually not the chlorine that smells. As chlorine works in the water to kill all that nasty stuff, it oxidizes and gives off chloramines, and those are what have that chlorine smell. If you can smell chlorine, it probably means you actually don't have enough chlorine in the water because it's being used up. So you need to test the water. The proper level for chlorine is between one and three parts per million or PPM. If the level is below where it should be, shock your hot tub to bring it back up quickly. Get rid of the chloramines and put the chlorine back to work killing contaminants. Number two is bromine, and bromine is probably the second most common sanitizer for hot tubs. Chlorine works by oxidizing, but bromine works by ionizing, which means it forces apart the chemical bonds of contaminants. Basically, it tears contaminants apart. One of the advantages of bromine is that more of it remains active after combining with contaminants, so it works a little longer than chlorine does before you have to add more. The bromine gives off its own waste product called bromamines. They're not as noxious as chloramines, but they still indicate a low level of sanitizer in your hot tub. Shocking is the solution here as well, and then keeping a closer eye on your sanitizer levels. The proper level for bromine is between three and five parts per million. Another advantage bromine has over chlorine is that it's more effective at killing certain types of algae, but bromine has a big drawback. Bromine is unstabilized, which means that if your hot tub is outside and uncovered, the sun's UV rays will burn it off very quickly. And there's no additional chemical you can add to stabilize it in the way that you can stabilize chlorine with cyanuric acid. So it's a better choice for hot tubs that are either under some sort of cover like a gazebo or indoors altogether. Real quick, before we continue, if you're looking for an easy to follow tutorial that'll answer all your hot tub questions, go check out our hot tub handbook and video course. You'll get in-depth video lessons, plus a step-by-step -step downloadable guide covering everything that you need to know about hot tub maintenance. It's packed with money-saving tips so you can save money and time keeping your hot tub clean. This is the ultimate manual for every type of hot tub. The best part is we always keep it up to date, so once you buy it, you have access to the latest and greatest version for life. That's swimuniversity.com slash spa and use the promo code video. Now we've come to a few alternative sanitizers. Bakwa Spa is actually a brand name for Baguanine. It's a non-chlorine sanitizer, but it kills bacteria just as well as chlorine and bromine do. It's a liquid, and so it's easier to add to hot tub water. It also makes the spa water feel smoother. You also don't have to add it as often as you do with chlorine and bromine, and it doesn't produce any kind of odor. The two biggest drawbacks, it's more expensive than chlorine and bromine and can actually deteriorate some of the parts of your hot tub like rubber gaskets and certain plastics. 
you'll want to check with your hot tubs manufacturer before using it and possibly voiding your warranty and melting parts of your hot tub. Now, the proper level for Beguinine is between 30 and 50 parts per million. Now, the most alternative of all the alternative sanitizers is minerals, specifically and most commonly copper and silver. Oddly enough, those metals have contaminant killing properties. Silver is a known bactericide and copper is a known algicide, but they can't sanitize your hot tub alone. If you use a mineral sanitizer, you have to supplement it with chlorine. Minerals alone won't kill bacteria quickly enough and it can get out of control. The benefit with minerals is that you don't have to use as much chlorine as you would if you were only using chlorine. This makes it a very cost-effective option. Now, there's no set level for minerals, but when using them, the ideal chlorine level needs to be at 0.5 parts per million. So that's half a part per million. Now, number five is a salt water chlorinator. If you have a salt water hot tub, it means that you have a salt water chlorinator that converts salt to chlorine, and it actually sanitizes your water. To get the sanitation from salt, you want the salt level to be between 2,000 and 3,000 parts per million, with 2,500 parts per million being ideal, and the chlorine level will be at around three parts per million. Now, I know what you're thinking, that sounds like a lot of salt. It's actually not. Seawater salinity level is about 35,000 parts per million. You likely won't even be able to taste the salt in your hot tub, but you shouldn't try to taste the water in your hot tub. And finally, let's talk about shock. This is basically a massive dose of sanitizer to do things like kill algae or quickly bring the sanitizer level back up to where it needs to be. But you also need to shock your hot tub on a regular basis to prevent those things from happening in the first place. If you have a chlorine hot tub, you can either shock your hot tub with chlorine shock or chlorine or use a non-chlorine shock. For a bromine hot tub, you can use a non-chlorine shock but to get the most benefit, I recommend using a chlorine shock. Not only will it kill contaminants, it'll also reactivate some of the bromine. But guanine brands like Bakwa Spa usually have their own hot tub shock design to work with their products. For mineral systems, I recommend using a non-chlorine shock to keep the chlorine levels from going up too much. And for saltwater hot tubs, you can use a chlorine shock. The saltwater generator will likely have a super chlorination setting, but it's not enough to take care of things like algae or I don't know, bodily fluid accidents that may happen in your hot tub, perhaps? And remember, test your water before you shock and then test it again before you get back into your hot tub to make sure the sanitizer level has returned to normal. So that's all you need to know about sanitizing your hot tub water. If you missed anything or have any questions, please leave a comment to let us know and to help out your fellow hot tub owners. Hit the like button below if you found this video helpful. And if you want to learn more about hot tub maintenance and troubleshooting, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And check out the hot tub handbook and video course at swimuniversity.com slash spa. Don't forget to enter that promo code video to get 10% off. That's it. Thanks again and happy soaking.